we are very happy the biggest uh, shipping exhibition in the world, Estonia, come back this year and uh, expect it of all the shipping people. Thanks for Capital Link, invited me come back again to Greece, the home of the world's largest ship owning nation and the hub of global shipping. Uh, today, unfortunately, you are still not uh, uh, very easily traveling to China, unfortunately. Uh, so we just uh, finished the great panel of the traditional banks. So next, uh, please allow me to give you some brief introduction about uh, what we are doing as a representative of Bokum Leasing. And maybe, you know, I can also say something on behalf of my peers in some other Chinese lessors who cannot uh, attend uh, the forum today. We just joined the international shipping community less than 10 years, but even with this sort of uh, history, we learn a lot from the shipping community. We work and grow with the community, especially with the world's shipping leaders, I mean the Greek shipping society. So according to the statistics of the United Nations Conference on the Trade and Development, since 2009, Greece got back the throne of the world's largest ship owning nation and keep growing from that especially since 2015, we can see that the leading superiority of Greece is more and more prominent. Actually, the similar growth story was happened in Chinese ship leasing community. According to the statistics of Clarkson's research, by the end of last year, the total fleet capacity leased by Chinese lessors were 135.3 million gross ton and 123 million GT, that means 91% of the fleet were international vessels. This is what I said, Chinese lessors is developing with the international shipping community. In the past, in the past couple of years, Chinese lessors are playing one and more important role in the new building activities, particularly in some green orders. You can see that almost 10% of the new buildings were financed by the Chinese lessors. So after several years rapid development, the Chinese lessors have a significant share in the shipping finance market now. According to the Esmeralda investigation, by the end of 2021, the ship leased assets of top 10 Chinese lessors achieved 77 billion US dollars. If we compared this exposure of the top 40 traditional ship finance banks, which is investigated by Petrofen, the average ship finance exposure of single institution in these two groups is similar, around 7 billion US dollars. So I think Chinese leasing is the parallel option of the ship, owner, ship owner's list now. So then let's move our eyes to Greece. I didn't, uh, actually, I didn't uh, collect the exact number of the Greek transactions from all Chinese leasing companies, but from the deal record I learned from the market in the past couple of years, I, see, I believe more than two thirds of the top 50 Greek ship owners has built the good cooperation with Chinese lessors. So following the good cooperation between the Chinese CPRs and the Greek shipping society, we are proud to say that our Chinese leasing company are also the good partner, important partner of the Greek shipping communities. Here is some numbers of our bulkum leasing exposure in Greece. Greece is the biggest market for us by nation. We have top, we have ten top partners here. The total exposure reached 2.23 billion US dollars by the end of last quarter. So, leased 56 excellent vessels. Uh, the reason for the Chinese lessors could achieve fast growth. I think we should thank for the strategy of embracing the world market. Here is some numbers of the ship leasing portfolio of Balkan leasing. By the end of last quarter, our assets portfolio reached 15 billion US dollars. It's consisted by more than 420 diversified vessels from 60 plus clients. These clients come from 19 countries and regions. Actually, the domestic market is just have 2% share in our portfolio, 
and 98% are international business. So we are also working to provide a more diversified solution to meet the finance demand in the volatile shipping market, more operating leasing with more flexible scheme. So we also diversified our fleet, expand the exposure in green assets, such as the advanced RNG carriers has a swift growth in our fleet. And the percentage of the traditional assets segments decreased somewhat. And if we look at the ship assets portfolio of all, all the top Chinese lessors, we could also find a similar constitution. The assets in different segments are more and more balanced, such as what we do in Bochum and also ICBC and SMB leasing. So here is the presence of Bochum leasing. We have an office, a team in Hamburg is looking after our European market. So I hope we could provide a good uh, solution in the future to meet the demand of the Greek society. Uh, today, as one of the major shipping finance providers, I do believe the Chinese lessors will continue to embrace in the world market, despite the recently the traveling is not so easy. But we are still there. And we try to provide diversified finance solution to the shipping society, not only to expand the cooperation with the top tire clients, but also the group of the middle tire. Thanks. Have a nice day.